Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I am doing a requested video. Um, it was requested, requested um, quite a while ago. I want to say maybe in February when we were still in our apartment and um, I couldn't do it at the time because we were in between houses and a large chunk of my stuff was in storage. So um, I finally have everything together and unpacked. So today is going to be a video of all of my bag organizers and inserts and let you know which ones that I like the best. So let's get started. The first ones that I have and the first ones that I ever bought are from a company called Purse In. And this one is the size small and it's black with a zebra lining and they unzip around the side on both sides to expand them to be a little larger. So it gives that extra room. And I actually have a small in the leopard, which this will probably show up a little easier on camera. And the insides, they have a lot of pockets. There's two on this side, one with elastic on either end. The back side has two more, and then a zipper also. I also have this one in, these are the size small and this is the medium. Um, and on their website they only have small and medium. I'm not sure there's no large. This is my oldest one. I've had this before I ever bought um, anything from luxury or any designer bags. Um, I found this on sale at Dillard's and this is the size medium in comparison to the small. It's quite a bit bigger. Let's see. It might be easier to do it this way to show you. And on the outsides of them, they have, uh, where is it at? Oh, it's on the insides. <laughs> I'm close. They have these little handles. So you, if you want to switch between bags, you can just lift it up like that. And the outsides have pockets as well on both the small and on the medium and this one also has the little handles on the insides these um, are good they provide a lot of organization I like this size the best it tends to work with more of my bags no structure they're not going to add any structure to your bag any shape it's just really strictly organization this side is slightly stiff, the front and the back. As you can see, the bottom, absolutely nothing in the sides. So if you're looking for something to, to you know, like maybe give your speedy some shape or something like that, these are not going to be, you know, a good choice for that. But if you don't want space and you just want some organization, I will say though, the black one, um, I put it in a light colored bag. I didn't think anything of it because it's nylon and it left color transfer. I was able to remove it, luckily, but um, I would be very cautious buying dark colors. And um, after it did that, I took a white washcloth and just rubbed it across it, and it turned it like a dark purple. So I did the same with this, nothing happened on the washcloth. And the same with this, nothing happened on the washcloth. This one, I'm actually gonna throw it away, but I wanted to, um, have it for the video so that I could tell you what happened to me and um, just you know a little word of warning be cautious if you buy a dark organizer not to use it in a light color bag these are really quite expensive uh, I wrote it down because there's no way I'll remember um, the smalls and the mediums are the same price just depending upon the um, pattern they run 64 to 68 dollars so these would be probably my least recommended. They're really, really pricey. Um, between the color transfer, there are no solids. They're all in kind of wild and crazy prints. Um, I prefer a solid. These are not my most favorites. So the next ones that I purchased was from Purse Bling, and they're the purse to go in the size jumbo. And these are just really simple. There's the little logo 
And this is the color that is supposed to match Rose Ballerine, which I will show you in a moment with my Neverfull. Um, I have yet to find anything that actually, you know, is really a true Rose Ballerine. But it's a good, you know, it's a close match. It's, um, you know, it's not bad when you're looking down into a pink bag. Again, with these, as you can see, they're not gonna add any shape to your bag whatsoever. They will protect the lining, um, no color transfer because they're so light. And um, a lot of pockets around the edge. There's three in the back and three in the front. And then pretty good roomy interior here. It does have these little Velcro things on the side, I think so you can make it smaller. I don't know. I don't understand what those are for. Oh, I do. Oh, I've never done that before. That peels off, I see. <laughs> so you can make it smaller if you have a smaller bag. But I've never done that, so obviously. <laughs> and I got this one to go in, um, I forget which rose bowing bag. I think originally for my Neverfull. And then I got a lighter color to go in my Delightful. And I didn't want any shape added to it. I like the, um, the way that it falls. I like wearing that one the way it is. So I got this one just because it's such a light colored bag. These are very, very reasonably priced. These are $24.95 and this is the jumbo size. And I'm pretty sure they do free shipping. And um, Purse Bling is the website for both of these. Then the next one that I purchased, which actually I need to get that one back so I can show you with the um, Neverfull. The next one I purchased was from Etsy um, from the store 47th Heaven. And to show you what it looks like inside of there. And then just to show you what the purse bling one looks like against it. It's a lot more pink, a lot brighter. This one's a pretty good match. Nothing's gonna be exact, of course. So this one is 47th Heaven, and um, it's kind of a canvas material. It does offer some structure to the bag, and um, show it to you again, so show it to you without the organizer in it. And it's got squishy, and then putting it in, it definitely gives it shape. So if you like to stuff your bags, you don't have to, but as you can see, it's really boxy. See how it's giving it that? I'm just not really crazy about that. I don't like the shape it gives the, the bag. The organizer, however, is extremely well made. These are $58, and as I said, it's like a canvas material. And on the back, you've got two really large pockets and then two very small ones on each side here. And then three on one side and two large ones on the back side. And this one is quite structured and quite boxy and also quite expensive. Um, it's definitely well made. Um, I do like it. I don't. I don't like the shape it gives my Neverfull. So the next ones that I bought were from Original Club, and this was the first one that I got. This color is called Blush, and it's a felt material, and it's very, very soft, very pliable, very mushy, and it comes with two large pockets two mediums on either side, and then one side has a large slit comp compartment in the back of it. And I really, really liked this uh, for my Speedy, and so I went and bought another one because at the time I had two Speedies. Um, but this is the shape that it gives the Speedy, and I like that a lot. You don't have to stuff the bag when you're not using it. I really like that in there. and. I liked it so much I got another one, and this one is sandstone. Let me take it out so you can see it. 
So to take them in and out of the speedies, you just kind of have to pinch it and pull it. And the same way when you put it in, it has to go in sideways, it has to come out sideways because of that very narrow opening. And so I did the sandstone to go in the um, monogram. Of course, you can use them either of them. It doesn't make a difference. And the reason that I went with the blush for the Damier Ben is because I have so many rose ballerine pieces that um, I just thought, you know, that way I can use them in there without worrying about that red interior transferring. So these are both Speedy 25. And there's the sign on that one original club these are $39.99 very very reasonably priced and I actually contacted original club original club is my favorite organizers I have found so far and I contacted them and asked if they would have a coupon code that perhaps I could share with you if you were interested in buying one and they did they gave me one for 10% off and so I will put that down below for you I'm getting nothing from this I'm they didn't send me anything. I'm not getting a discount myself. I guess I could use the 10%, but I have enough organizers, but I'm not getting paid. There's nothing in it for me. I just thought, you know, because I'm saying how much I love this one. If you guys were interested, you know, a little discount's always a good thing. So I will put that down below. And so I like that so much. I got one in my Neverfull and I like the shape of this better. I mean, it's still a little bit square, but it's not, I mean, it's more mushy. Let me put the other one back into the Rose Ballerine just to show you the difference in the shape of the two. So this one fits like that in there. And the original club fits like that in there. So it's a little more loose. But so there's the one with the original club. And then see the boxy difference? See how that one looks more natural for the bag? And that one looks really squared off. So I like the way that this one looks in the Neverfull a lot better. The Neverfull size is also $39.99. And the color that I got is fuchsia. So if you have any of the bags with the um, Pavine interior, the fuchsia color is really a very good match. It's one of the best matches I've seen for one of the Louis Vuitton um, colors for the interior. And this one is the same as the others. It's just bigger. You got the two compartments on either side, two slit in the front and back, and then the large slit compartment there and show you the size difference between the Speedy 25 and the Neverfull. See, it's pretty, pretty big difference. Put it that way. So that one is also $39.99. So, oh, and something I was gonna mention, I very rarely carry water bottles. Now this one is a lot bigger, the little, um, round compartments on either side. So I can fit sunglasses, like a large sunglass case down in either of these. These ones, it's a little bit tight. So what I tend to do with these, if I don't wanna use these, I just kinda of mush them in like that and just you know use the whole bag. They do have different um, organization ones. Like there's one that just has a single, you can get them with none, you can customize it, you can do all sorts of things on there, but I just got their standard because um, it was the best price and they're so nice and soft. I just smush them over if I don't want to use that and need more room for that. And the last one that I got was one for my Keep All uh, 45, which I should have brought that out here, but it's way up high on the shelf and I didn't get to it. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead with the blush color again. My Keep All is in Damier Ben, and um, but the inside of it is not red. It's it's brown like um, like monogram bags. I got this for, not for when I'm using it for weekend trips. When I use it for weekend trips, I completely pack it with clothes and shoes and toiletries and all that stuff. But when I fly with that bag, I tend to carry all my extra handbags, my um, headphones, iPod, not iPod, um, iPad, you know, to watch movies, all this stuff for the plane, snacks. So, um, 
it's just a big giant black hole. This does not fit very snugly in there at all, which I'm actually happy about because it gives me a lot of room to shove other things around the bag. And if you buy so much stuff when you're on vacation and you want to use your key bowl and you don't want to put this because when you put an organizer in, you do lose a lot of space. Uh, never full anything when I travel. I tend to not use an organizer. But if you buy so much stuff, it folds up like this. Easy to stick down into your suitcase. And, you know, and then you can just stuff your keep all, you know, the regular way. But um, these are definitely my favorites. Um, just to show you, compare the, the purse bling to this the colors that this is blush and I'm they do this is not the one that they say is rose ballerine I don't know what color on their website that they said because I wasn't trying to match that I just thought this was pretty but these are good I mean if you don't want any structure added to your bag and you just want a little bit of organization and they're very very reasonably priced but so I hope that helps if you were thinking of getting any kind of an organizer. And I thank you so much for tuning into another video. I would really appreciate if you like these kind of videos, if you would click that subscribe button down below and a thumbs up. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.